So it looks like AMC is starting to swallow their pride a little bit. What is going on, fellow board members? Welcome to another exciting episode here on Ord's Boards. Today we're taking a look at an article from NBCNews.com. Universal AMC reach deal to put new movies in your living room after just 17 days. Um, so uh, they worked out some kind of deal uh, in a company that is AMC was failing. Uh, even before the global pandemic, their, their numbers uh, were falling very hard um, with all the streaming services there are out there, all the original content the streaming services have. I mean, you know, you could really almost stream anywhere uh, on the planet. So, uh, so yeah, movie theaters, you know, it's kind of a hassle. You got to pack the kids up. You got to take them there. So uh, having uh, new release digital movies uh, that I can watch at the house is not only cheaper for me, uh, it is more convenient. Um, so it doesn't surprise me that AMC, you know, all the blowback that they gave uh, uh, you know, all these companies who were talking about releasing their stuff uh, digitally inside people's homes because of, uh, you know, the global pandemic. Uh, now they realize that they realize that they're going to need help to get through all of this. And of course, uh, they reach some kind of deal with Universal. Um, money talks. That's what it comes down to. Money talks. AMC wants to stay afloat. And I do, I do like the theater experience. I'm not saying I would never not go to the movies. Uh, what I really like is those Fathom events that they have, uh, where they have older movies, or uh, I know they did the Jay and Silent Bob reboot uh, released that way, which was a lot of fun. Um, I like that sort of thing. And I really like what theaters that are open are doing now, uh, showing older movies. Uh, that is something really cool. Uh, that's actually something that I've wanted to do for many years, start a movie theater that only showed old movies. Um, so it's really cool to see this happening. Drive-in movie theaters are making a comeback. Uh, so there are other options than AMC uh, to go out and get your movie fix. Uh, anyway, guys, I, I'm talking too much, so let's dive into this article and see what we got. Movie studio Universal Pictures and top theater chain AMC Entertainment have reached an agreement that would allow new films to head straight into your living room after just three weeks in U.S. cinemas, a move that could have major implications for Hollywood business models and the future of of movie going uh yeah so it, it really movie going has completely changed uh because of all the stuff going on in the world right now like i said these digital releases going straight uh to digital releases uh they saw a uh you know some of the biggest profits they've seen uh when they released uh was it uh, onward um so you know it's just really uh interesting to see uh the the change in all of this because of what's been going on um and like i said before guys these were issues that amc was having before uh before this whole pandemic the pandemic was just just uh, really a boot to the head, uh, you know, so to speak. Well, the deal announced in a news release Tuesday afternoon hands AMC the right to screen films from Universal and its art house division focus features for 17 days in the U.S., a dramatic departure from the traditional theatrical window of about 90 days. Uh, so, yeah, it's about 90 days for a movie's run, uh, and then it's about three months for his video. Um, so just interesting to see this change. Now, my guess is, is uh, the reason they decided to do this deal or the reason uh, AMC decided to do this is because the majority of those ticket sales are going to be within that 17 days. Uh, it's just past the half of a uh, month mark. Um, and that's where you're going to get your biggest ticket sales. Um, what would be interesting to see if... Um, you know, they actually start doing good movies nowadays because of this. You know, you have 17 days to make an impression on people before it hits uh, your homes. Uh, I think a lot of people are going to be able to wait that 17 days. I think they'll wait three weeks. It's kind of the same thing they're doing with Blu-rays and DVDs and all of that. Um, they're going to put the digital copy out uh, a couple weeks before the hard copy comes out uh, because they want you to buy the digital copy at the same price that you're going to get the physical copy, uh, possibly Blu-ray, DVD, and a digital copy uh, for the same price you paid for just the digital copy that's why i usually wait to get hard copies um you know i, I know it takes up space carbon footprint and all that kind of sucks but so the reason i do this is because i feel like i get more money uh from you know my investments than just buying a digital release and who knows what happens you know if the servers go down or whatever at least if that was the case i still have the the physical copy um so it is interesting to see a 17 day window it is probably you know that's where you're going to get most of your views within the theater uh so it makes sense that it would like stick to a 17 day thing just outside of two weeks um yeah it'll be interesting to see if those if that increases uh once things start to get back to uh normal again 
who knows to say, you know, who's to say what the future holds uh, for this whole uh, movie uh, business? After the 17-day window closes, Universal has the option to shift movies from theaters to premium on-demand video services, including AMC Theaters On Demand, an iTunes-style platform that lets customers rent and buy movies. AMC, the largest theater chain in the world, will get a slice of that revenue that Universal generates during the first weeks a film is available in the home. You know, so I definitely think that this is Universal throwing AMC a bone. Um, they probably got enough money to help them out a little bit. Now, do I think that this is going to save AMC theaters? No. Uh, what I think this is is just a Band-Aid on a festering wound that's been bleeding for quite some time. Um, so, uh, yeah, like I said, I don't think this is going to save AMC. AMC is going to have to change some things, uh, you know, put some things into practice. I think the, the showing the old movies is a good way to start. Um, you know, maybe dedicate a couple of theaters to showing some older movies uh, more often, not necessarily every Tuesday, Thursday. Uh, maybe give better times for those movies, too, you know, during the week when you know people are able to do that sort of thing. I think this would be something good that uh, would help AMC. Well, the theatrical experience continues to be the cornerstone of our business. The partnership we forged with AMC is driven by our collective desire to ensure a thriving future for the film distribution ecosystem and to meet consumer demand with flexibility and optionality. Donna Langley, chair of the Universal Film Entertainment Group, said in a statement accompanying the news release. Um, so that, you know, okay, so they're, they want to make sure that they forge this, or this partnership they forged uh, stays solid. Uh, but I think they're going to have to do a little bit more uh, than this. It was not immediately clear whether competitors of smaller size, specifically Walt Disney Studios and Warner Brothers, would forge similar packs with AMC and other leading theater chains. Uh, so I think what we'll see here, and this is just a prediction because I don't really know much about the movie industry, but uh, what I think you'll see is, is maybe Warner Brothers and Disney Studios signing up with other theater chains maybe um, to try to either further them, uh, you know, uh, a partnership with them to make it a little bit cheaper for them to get movies out into theaters. I'm not sure. Maybe they will uh, sign a thing with AMC, uh, but it'll be interesting to see uh, what these other studios decide to do. I personally think they should go off to other studios, uh, maybe buy some, you know, some theaters up. Uh, you have Disney theaters then, uh, Warner Brothers theaters. Uh, at least that's what I would do if you got the money to do it. I don't see why you would need to go through uh, AMC to do it. I mean, it's just a name. Uh, you know, let's, uh, you know, invest some money into something of your own. It'd be interesting to see that. The two companies did not announce an official start date for the deal as the vast majority of movie theaters across the U.S. are still closed because of COVID-19 outbreak. Yeah, so I, like I said, I think this is just a band-aid they're putting on uh, financially. They're probably going to give them money up front uh, to keep pushing, to keep going. Um, and I know that some theaters have opened up, like I said before, they're showing old movies, which I think is awesome that you continue to do that. Uh, but anyway, guys, let me know in the comments down below what you think. If you guys are excited to see this and what you guys think of the whole deal, 17 days inside theaters. Theaters, and then it can be released on your home. Are you guys going to wait uh, for the 17 days to, to watch the movie digitally? Let me know, please, in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. All right, guys, so that is the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below. Make sure you hit that notification bell. And as always, guys, make sure you hit that, that subscription button. It always helps. It's the red one down below. Uh, I appreciate all of you guys so much. Um, yeah, so 17 days, you have your movies in your theaters, and then they go straight to, uh, to your house uh, digitally. So like I said, guys, let me know in the comments comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love all of you guys and we will catch you on the other side. Peace.